What's up guys, Visual Maximus here, so while everything on the outside may seem all good, not everything is so good on the inside. So just days before deadline reports, the Supreme Court was set to take the matter into conference. Marvel and the family of Jack Kirby have settled their long-running legal dispute over the comic legends right to the characters he created or co-created. Here's their joint statement. Marvel and the family of Jack Kirby have amicably resolved their legal disputes and are looking forward to advancing their shared goal of honouring Mr. Kirby's significant role in Marvel's history. So Deadline later went on to say, widely viewed as one of the kings of comics, Kirby created or co-created some of the biggest names on the page and now on the big screen in the superhero blockbusters that Hollywood has profited prophesied from in recent years. However, while his often partner Stan Lee was a Marvel employee, Kirby was a work for hire and had no rights to Captain America, the Fantastic Four, the Hulk, Iron Man, Thor, the original X-Men and the plethora of, of other characters he played a pivotal part in bringing to life. The settlement between Marvel slash Disney is confidential. But you don't have to be a Supreme Court Justice to know that if a deal was reached this late in the process, it must be a healthy one for the Kirbys, who were holding a lot of the cards for once. Further concluding the matter, the Kirbys today have also notified the Scotus that they now want their petition dismissed. So they go on to even say later on, it was a long legal road for them and Marvel to get to today's deal. After failing repeatedly in lower courts, Lisa Kirby, Neil Kirby, Susan Kirby and Barbara Kirby petitioned the High Court on March 21 for a hearing on the matter. In their petition, the heirs wanted SCOTUS to rule in favour of their assertion that they had the rights in 2009 to issue termination notices on 262 works that the comic legend helped create between 1958 and 1963. Those 45 notices went out to Marvel slash Disney, Fox, Sony, Universal and Paramount Pictures and others who've made films based on the artist's characters under the provision of the 1976 Copyright Act. Marvel sued in 2010 after failing to reach an agreement back then with the Kirby family to invalidate the termination notices. Jack Kirby himself passed away in 1994. So it's great to see that Kirby Kirby's heirs have finally, you know, got along with Marvel and sort of got along with Sony, Fox, and anyone else who've who've made movies based on Marvel characters. So I think that it's good. It's definitely a good step. But I think I think they would have won. Honestly, I think they would have probably won because, like the Deadline report, they did have the card. They, they were the ones with the cards. So do you think that Jack Kirby's as would have won this lawsuit? Let me know your thoughts and videos down below. Share the video, like the video, subscribe if you're new. Peace.